tell us a little bit about um, communication. Obviously, Keros, you know, we kind of major in, in team communication and um, communication between staff and coaches and practitioners. Um, what to you, what epitomizes good communication within a team and then how does that manifest itself in performance? I think um, having a, a clear schedule is really important. I think it just allows us to kind of take our mind off worrying about that side of things. Um, if a team can have a really good structured plan in place and it makes it so much easier for the athletes. Um, it's one less thing to worry about um, and then we can have more control over other parts of the game. Um, so yeah, it's really important. and. Also, just knowing when we can schedule things in with coaches, when we can do a bit of extra training, having all that in front of us is, is really helpful. How much of an impact does that make? Because people outside of um, sports teams think that appears just trivial. Like it's not that big a deal. Like we can all, you know, look at our phone, look at our WhatsApp, or, or kind of manage, you know, make a couple of calls. But how important is that to have everybody to make communication really smooth? How much of an impact does that make in performance? It definitely has a huge impact. Um, it's definitely underestimated, but I've seen teams where something's a little bit off in the schedule or they schedule in a meeting last minute and it, it really kind of changes the mood of the whole environment. Um, I think players can get really frustrated when the communication between the coaches and the players is not streamlined or it's not efficient. Um, and it, yeah, it's almost a, a respect thing as well. I think when, when coaches communicate clearly and effectively with the players and it's showing that they are respected. Um, so when communication isn't there, then players don't feel respected, players get frustrated and kind of sets a bad vibe in the, in the camp. 